Hello friends and welcome to Fire Emblem Discussion. I hope you're all having a happy holidays and you know Christmas is just around the corner so I'm sure many of you are busy shopping and stuff so thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Anyways, uh, for this holiday season I wanted to do something a little different, maybe a little special. I wanted to rank my top seven favorite Fire Emblem games and talk about one each day leading up to Christmas. And we'll finish on Christmas. It's going to be uh, just my personal opinion, my personal thoughts. This is to say nothing negative about your favorite game or anything. I just wanted to share this list with you and share my opinion. So today is number seven of my top seven games in the Fire Emblem series, and that is Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon just kind of holds a special place in my heart. Uh, I, I know it doesn't have the, the greatest graphics or the greatest story, even the greatest music. There's a lot of shortcomings, but I spent so much time playing this as a kid uh, for my, my my original Nintendo DS, my brick. When I actually think I have it right here, actually, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Got it right here. Um, Shadow Dragon's not in it right now, but I played Shadow Dragon countless times. Um, I remember playing... I remember the, the versus mode in particular. I loved it. I loved playing online and just playing random people. Um, I loved playing with my, my buddies. And by buddies, I mean my one friend who also played Fire Emblem. It was just a good time. Just a good time. Always had fun. I think my favorite characters in the game were the the White Wings. You know, Pala, Katri, and Est. Yes, including Est. <laughs> I, I did the, the triangle attack was just the coolest thing. And I always had it set up for online play to do the triangle attack. I would do stuff like uh, long. I'd, I'd do stuff like uh, sniper Pala with a longbow, so she could be in the fog and attack from uh, from a distance without them seeing. Um, and then, but I'd line it up so I could do a triangle attack with the other two. It was just a lot of fun to to do that way. But yeah, Shadow Dragon's great. You know, the story is might be bare bones, but the gameplay is still solid to this day, even though it's a remake of a game that came out in 1990, which is just. So it really speaks to the people who worked on it before. Like it was a solid game at the time and it still is uh, mechanically works and is a solid game, but it just had all the right, Shadow Dragon just had all the right quality of life improvements. All the things that we look at in the series now and say without that, the older games are hard to play. Like being able to skip actions, meaning like you could skip an enemy phase, uh, being able to just click on an enemy and attack them, which was so foreign to me at first, but now it's like the best thing ever. I love being able to you know, select a unit and then select an enemy rather than like move a unit next to an enemy and press another button. It just saves clicks and I love saving clicks. I love saving time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about Shadow Dragon. Uh, do you love Shadow Dragon? Do you hate Shadow Dragon? Do you have any fun special memories with Shadow Dragon? That's, uh, that's probably more what I want to hear. Do you have any fun special memories? And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a happy holidays.